Hey guys, Dan here, and welcome back at Zoo Roblox, where today we are continuing our Roblox Pokemon. We are continuing our Pokemon Brick Bronze adventure, and today they've updated it so everyone can play. It's free! It's finally free! Press start. Yeah, welcome back, and um, yes! This has now gone into a free state of play. So before you had to pay about 25 Robux to access Brick Bronze, but now it is free, which is awesome. So let's go into our Pokemon and oh my goodness, I've just remembered what happened last time. So Shiny Haunter appeared, but it's actually a very special Shiny Haunter because it's an event Pokemon. So lots of you have been tweeting me that you have been getting the same Pokemon, which is awesome. Now, apparently it was like a Halloween special event. And apparently, if you evolve this guy into a Gengar, he will turn into a white Gengar. So in the last episode, I was mentioning that it's actually a really bad shiny, the original Gengar. But apparently, this one is white, which we definitely need to do. Now, the only problem is you have to trade him to evolve him. And there is no way, no Wait, I am trusting anyone on here to trade it back to me because <laughs> they could just take my Pokemon and leave. I've just noticed as well, is this the map? Look how cool this looks. That's awesome. So there's been some big updates to the game and um, I'm going to quickly buy some stuff to celebrate. We've got 16,000 monies. That's awesome. Right, I'm going to buy some Great Balls. Now, I don't know how many I have already, but I'm going to buy five. Yes, let's do that. Um, Should we buy some Super Potions as well? Just in case, let's buy a couple of those, and I don't even know if we need anything else. Um, escape ropes. I don't even know if we need those, actually. Let's just close this up, and let's get out of here. See you later, buddy. So, I think we arrived in this town last time, and we literally ran to the Pokemon Center, and that was it. So, welcome to... The town, like, I've forgotten the name. I've forgotten the name of the town. It's Laguna Lake. Of course it is. Now, look how beautiful this is. There's, like, a big dome in the middle. I have no idea what's going on here. But hopefully, in the future, we'll be able to learn Surf. Because then we can get our Pokemon around on this water, which would be awesome. And check it out. Look, they've changed the running animation so it doesn't look as weird. But... I kind of missed the weird one now. <laughs> so today's goal is to, I guess, try and get our next badge. But I don't know what kind of story is going to appear. And I kind of need to explore this. Now, the first thing I'm going to check out is this. Because I think this is the daycare center. There's an Azrael. There's a Sentra and an Oddish in here just playing with some just playing with some footballs, which is fine. It's cool. And who is this guy? Oh, hello, sir. Can I talk to you, please? Hey there, my wife and I look after Pokemon here at our daycare. If you'd like us to help you raise a Pokemon, talk to my wife inside. So they can actually do daycare here. That's awesome. So if you don't know what that is, that's where they look after a Pokemon and raise it. And you can also get eggs and stuff as well. Oh, maybe those are weird Pokemon eggs. Who knows? <laughs> oh. Oh, this guy just told me, look at this. The glass roof over the town here was built by the daycare folks. One of the people we just spoke to. It's meant to protect the town from erosion due to the frequent downpours. Now, look, there's literally a glass roof covering the whole town. That's kind of cool. So let's quickly see what's this way. Um, anything around the corner? We've got like a cave, a house, and I guess the next route. But I kind of want to go into here. So let's quickly check out who, if anyone, is in this house. There's someone in here. Who is it? Is it empty? Oh, there's a guy here. Look at his mouth. Why is his mouth looking so aggressive? Oh! It's the fisherman. Look at this polywag picture as well. Very nice. Right. Back in my day, I used to enter a lot of fishing competitions. My highest streak of reeling in Pokemon consecutively was 51. I love fishing so much that I moved out here next to the lake. I don't fish very much nowadays. Hey, I know. I could share one of my older rods with you here. Take this. Obtain the old rod. Yes. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Right, let's go fishing. So I guess we can fish here. You know what? Let's go near the waterfall because I think that just looks like a better fishing spot. And we need to go into bag and then key items, old rod, and I guess click. No. Oh, wait a second. Is this it? The water is a nice clear blue. Let's use the old rod. Look at that. <laughs> that's so awesome. Oh, nothing seems to be biting. Okay, maybe I'm an absolutely terrible fisherman. Come on, old rod. Come on. Come on. Nothing seems to be biting. What is going on here? Oh, there's an item over here. Let's see what we've got. It's a mystic water. I don't even know what that does. <laughs> an item to be held by a Pokemon. This teardrop-shaped gem boosts the power of water type moves. Steve, I need to take your coffee off you. I'm so sorry. You're going to have some mystic water instead. Can I give this to you? Right, give this to Steve. And then Sourcebug Coffee. Who should we give this to now? 
I'm gonna go for, uh, let's go for Elvis. Enjoy the coffee, buddy. I've just noticed as well, we've got two really white, shiny Pokemon, which is awesome. Oh, no! Oh, man, I wasn't expecting that to work. Come on, come on, come on. L give me another chance. Give me another chance. No! Yeah, I did it. I did it. What did I get? A gold deed. I was expecting a magic up, so that isn't too bad. <laughs> go, Hampton. Hampton, the crazy, crazy haunter. Um, we don't really have that 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 many good moves, so let's um lick this goldine to death, shall we? Oh, I paralyzed it too. Here we go. Lick him. Lick him. There we go. Get out of here, Goldine. Hampton needs some more levels because we need to prepare him to become a Gengar. Now, um, we're not gonna evolve it into Gengar today because, as I mentioned earlier, I don't want no one stealing my nice shiny Haunter. So, um, oh, the dome. I almost forgot. Look at this. This is awesome. It's like a big watery greenhouse almost. Let's see what's inside here. Maybe we'll get some story or something. I'm not too sure. Oh. Oh, it's a submarine. No way. Please let me go. Welcome to the Laguna Lake Laboratory. That's kind of hard to say. Here we explore and study the bottom of the lake and what's been left behind by nature. Using this submersible... <laughs> You mean a, a submarine? Known as the underwater mining vessel, we have sent many people deep below the surface in search of whatever they may find within the lake's trenches. The UMV is electric, powered by special batteries. You will need to purchase your own batteries to power the UMV if you wish to go on a dive yourself. However, we do have enough funding that we can send you down once for free. Once below the surface, you may search the walls in the trenches for shiny spots indicating hidden objects. Simply click on a shiny spot to begin mining. This sounds awesome. The UMV is equipped with explosive charge and a drill. That sounds awesome too. Now, would you like to go ahead and ride the UMV for your first time? Yes, let's do this. Uh, I would like to save the game. Thank you very much for reminding me. Let's go deep sea diving. Are you kidding me right now? This is amazing. What? I'm actually deep sea diving in Pokemon. This is amazing. So I need to look out for shiny spots on the wall. So, um, <laughs> this is cool. There it is. There's one. Let's see what happens. So there's a shiny spot here. Do I click it? Let's see what happens. I've clicked it. Oh, it's this game. This is from one of the original Pokemon games. I can't remember how to do it, though. Oh, wait. There's a gemstone. There's a gemstone right here. There we go. So um, I think you collect these things and then you do something with them. I can't remember. Why is why can't I remember? That's so annoying. Nope. We didn't do it. The wall collapsed. Obtain a red shard and a blue shard. Oh, I think you trade them in for um the elemental stones. So like the red one will be a fire stone and the water one or the blue one will be a water stone, which is awesome. So um, yeah, deep sea diving. I wonder if we can find Pokemon down here as well. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is extremely cool. And there's another spot, right? Let's click that bad boy. Um, so we can use the explosives as well. Let's try that. Boom. Okay. Probably shouldn't do that. Is this just a rock? Is that an egg? It looks like... Is that... That might be an egg. Is that actually an egg? That's insane. I don't know what this one is. I think this might just be a rock. Yeah, you can't get anything from that. Um, Anything else up in here? Oh, we've got a green one. That might be a leaf stone. But you need to find the guy who will buy them off you or trade you them for the stones. Yes. All the buried items have been dug up. Obtain a green shard and oval stone. I thought it was an egg. An oval stone. I think that does something with egg steps. I'm pretty sure. It like decreases the amount of egg steps you need to hatch one. Which we don't have yet. So I'm going to finish off this deep sea diving expedition. And I'll see you guys when I'm done. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this a, is this a legit fire stone? That might be a fire stone. No. There's a leaf stone here too. Oh. This is amazing. This is so much better than I thought. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to blow this up. There we go. <laughs> uh, is there anything else I need to find here? I've kind of found a good strategy. And that is click on the um, the light blue ones. And it's a little bit easier to try and find stuff. It's going to be right in there. Right, did we get stones? A fire stone and a leaf stone? No way. This is actually great because it's a way we can find the stones to possibly evolve Elvis into something else. Oh, man. Right, I kind of want to... I don't know which um, evolution I want, but I need to find some more stones. Obtained a sky plate and a red shard. I don't know what the red... The sky plate is, actually. Isn't that... That sounds like something that's to do with Rayquaza, but I'm pretty sure it's completely different. Still, though, that's cool. Oh, no. My battery's gonna run out. My battery is gonna run out. But you know what? We have found so many incredible things. There we go. Returning to the surface. Guys, that was cool. That was really cool. A deep sea diving mini game. 
What? Right, let's check out our items, shall we? So we got a blue shard, a small blue shard. It appears to be a fragment of something sort of implement made long of go something like that anyway sky play an item to be held by a pokemon it's a stone tablet that boosts the power of flying type moves Ooh, i don't know if yugi can use that or not uh and then we've got a fire stone and a leaf stone and an oval stone oh look a peculiar stone that can make certain species of pokemon evolve oh what uses an oval stone r evolves hapini into chansey and um, it only does that when you hold it while you level up. Okay, that's quite interesting, actually. So how much does it cost to go back under? Because it'd be really cool to decide who we want to evolve Elvis into out of his, like, six or seven evolutions. But I need to find out how much it's going to be. Five Robux. That's that's so cheap to find or have the possibility of finding stones. That's awesome. Oh, this guy just told me you can find fossils as well. Oh, we need to do more of this. This is so cool. If you happen to find a fossil in the lake, you can bring it to me and I will revive it with this machine. I'm going to find a fossil. If we get a fossil, that'll be next level. Right, I'm going back under, guys. <laughs> I bought three batteries because it was 11 Robux for three. I mean, that's awesome. Right, let's save and see if we can find a fossil. This is going to be awesome. Oh, Oh, is that a thunderstone? That's something. That's something cool. Come on, fossil. Come on, fossil. Come on. Oh, it's there. That's a sunstone. No. Should I blow it up? Boom. Oh, no. The wall collapsed. Obtain a smooth rock. Okay. I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was a thunderstone, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. There's literally a bone here. I don't know if this is going to be a fossil or just something completely random. Let's see. There's something near it. That's a thunderstone. Oh, man. Uh, right, we got a bone. Okay, that's good. I don't know if that's a, a legit fossil or not. But we got a, a thunderstone. And we're not going to be able to get this because it's going to collapse. Oh, so close. What did we get? We got a thunderstone and a rare bone. Okay, that's interesting. We're finding loads of really, really cool things in here. We're not progressing much through the story, but... Who cares when we've got this cool stuff and we've got three of the types that um, Eevee can evolve into, which is awesome. Oh, wait a second. There's something good here. I can feel it. That's a fossil. That's a Kabuto fossil. Oh, please let me get that. Please, 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 please. Is it a Kabuto fossil? I think it might be. There's something here as well. I don't know what that is. Uh, I think I got a fossil. I actually got a fossil and there's... Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, I didn't get it in time. Okay, what is it? It's a revive and an armor fossil. Yeah. So you can find like revives and normal items too. Oh, this is cool. This is very, very cool. Look at this. We're getting so many. We've got a fossil. Oh, wait. This might be an old amber. Please let me get it. Yes, old amber. That's Aerodactyl, guys. That's actually Aerodactyl. Watch this. Green shard revive and an old amber. We just got an Aerodactyl. That's, that's amazing. Well, what we can turn into an Aerodactyl. This is so cool, and it's not even that expensive in terms of Robux. This is amazing. We also got an Everstone and an Iron Ball. So an Everstone stops a Pokemon evolving, which is kind of interesting. Not sure I'd use it, but it's kind of interesting. And we have managed to find so many more things on this expedition. Oh, that's another Firestone. Okay, that's good. And to be honest, I'm just waiting for my battery to run out because we've managed to get a lot of stuff. And we've got two fossils to revive, which I cannot wait to do. Click that. There we go. Oh. What's that? That is shiny. So shiny. And there's another Firestone in here. We've got so many. Look at this. <laughs> Firestone and a Waterstone. We've got a Waterstone as well. So we do have the opportunity to get a pink Vaporeon. I feel a poll coming on at the end of this video. Yes, one more. One more. Everstone and a green shard. Okay, and the battery has gone. Right. Let's revive some fossil Pokemon, shall we? I did not expect this whatsoever. This is amazing. And we can go back down two more times if we want to. Let me quickly check the stones that we got. We got three fire stones, a leaf stone, smooth rock, uh, extends the duration of sandstorm. There's our armor fossil. Let's see what um, these um, items do. So we've got Everstone. We know what that does. Rare bone can be sold for a high price to shops. Okay, that's good. Um, and the iron ball, um, it lowers speed and allows ground type moves to hit flying and levitating holders. That's kind of cool as well. Right, these are the two that we are talking about. Let's go and revive these. Well, is he going to charge us? I have no idea. Which fossil should I revive? Let's go for the armor fossil first. I'm pretty sure that this is Kabuto. Actually, you know what? Uh, I don't know if he's only going to let us do one. So just in case, let's do Aerodactyl first. I'm going to go for Old Amber. Choose. So you want to try reviving the Old Amber? Yes, please. All right, let me see it. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to work? 
Oh, jeez, this is cool. Go. Would you look at that? What has happened, buddy? Your old Amber turned into an Aerodactyl. Would you like to give a nickname to it? Arnie, welcome to the team, buddy. I need to go and get him from the Pokemon Center. That's amazing. And he's going to let us do another one, too. So Kabutops is actually a really cool Pokemon as well. One of my favorites. I have a lot of favorite Pokemon. Um, right, let's revive him. And, ah, oh, this is so cool. I can't believe we found two fossils. Your armor fossil turned into a shield on. Of course. It's the, is it the cover fossil that is the Kabuto? Ah, a shield on. That's pretty cool, though. Let's call him um, Sheldon, the shield on. So he evolves into Bastiodon, which is actually a really, really cool Pokemon. Right, I am out of here, guys. Thank you so much for the um, underwater diving experience. That was phenomenal. Right, let's go and see our brand new fossil Pokemon. I can't believe this. This is crazy. But we also need to make the tough decision of who to get rid of in our party. So... Let's check these guys out. So here is our shield on called Sheldon. <laughs> and he's pretty cool. He's a level 10. That's awesome. And here is Aerodactyl. Oh, man. Let's see what moves he's got. Supersonic Bite, Scary Face, and Roar. Those are some terrible moves. But he's got a special attack boost and a special defense drop, which is kind of annoying. Right. Um, Who do we take out? Yanma, I'm sorry, you're getting replaced with an Aerodactyl. You should feel pretty good about yourself, because that ain't too bad. And then we need to try and train this guy up, I guess. Let's switch him around. There we go. We are starting to get some decent Pokemon up in here. So um, all that's left to do now, I guess, is now that we've done all the deep sea diving, we need to go ahead and head to um, the next route. And, of course, we need to save the game. <laughs> no. No. This... No. Are you are you kidding me right now? Did you just freeze while you were saving? Please don't say please no. Please no. This can't be happening. This 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 actually can't be happening. I don't know what to do. Do I restart it? Do I wait? Please say it saved. I can't do anything. Can I reset my character? No. Oh! Jeez! I'm gonna have to restart it. I'm gonna have to leave the game. Oh no, this is this is potentially very painful. Ah! Oh, please. Please. Please save. Otherwise, we have lost both our fossil Pokemon. All of those incredible items. And I have to go and deep sea dive again. Oh why? I'm gonna be able to tell as soon as I click continue because it's gonna tell me my Pokedex. It should be at 21. I'm pretty sure it should be at 21. Here we go. I can't look. I can't look. I'm gonna do it. No! I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. We lost both of our fossils. And we lost the, the other stone, the water stone. Oh, jeez. And he used my battery. Oh, this day just gets worse. Worst. Diving experience ever. You know what? I'm gonna find it again. Let's let's dive. Okay, I must save before diving. Okay, let's hope it works this time. <laughs> oh man, okay. Let me see if I can find another fossil. Archie, Arnie, whatever your name is, I will get you back, buddy. I will avenge you. I knew it was going too well. I just knew it. I knew it was going way too well. Okay, okay, we got the water stone back. That's good, but I want some fossils. <laughs> Please let me get my fossils back. Oh, Oh, there's something here. There's a fossil here. It's a different one. Is this? I don't know, but I'll know by the name of it. I think this might be Archaeops, which is still a pretty cool Pokemon. And we did get some other stones, but I'll go over that when I'm done. Oh, man, that was, that's so painful. Right, let's see what it is. It's a sail fossil. Yeah, I don't know what that is. And that's it. Okay, right. Let's see what on earth we've got. I think it might be Archaeops, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's save it. I mean, why not? Let's save the game. And it worked. Okay, that's good. We've saved our progress. I know what, what I can do. Can you please revive this sail fossil? Let, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Yep, yeah, please revive. Let's see what Pokemon it is. It's working in the machine. It, the magic is happening. Uh, your sail fossil turned into an, a more... Oh! 
I completely forgot about that Pokemon. It's this guy. Um, we need uh, a name that starts with A. Antonio. Perfect. Yes. Okay. That's actually a pretty cool Pokemon. I'm not, I can't really complain with that. So what other stuff did we get? We got ourselves um, some blue shards, red shard, green shard. What stones did we end up with? Fire, leaf, and water. That's all right, but we didn't end up with three fire stones, unfortunately. Icy rock, which isn't too bad. Light clay, stone plate, more everstones, and a sunstone. So we actually got one more stone than we did before, I think. So... We can't really complain, and something that boosts fairy type moves. Nice. So I am definitely not going back down there again. Let's go and change our party yet again and see what happens. At least we've got it saved after the dive that time. <laughs> this has been fun, though. We didn't get two fossil Pokemon, but there are obviously so many fossil Pokemon down there that we can get, which is amazing. So um, let's open this up and check out Amora. Look at this. There we go. What moves you got? Growl, Powder Snow, Thunder Wave, and Rock Throw. That's awesome. Look at this Pokemon. Very cool. Antonio, welcome to the team, buddy. There we go. All right, let's switch you around. And let's go and try this guy out in battle. Actually, let's save it. Let's save it again. And it worked. Perfect. I'm going to go to the route that I was going to go to about 10 minutes ago. No, not back in there. Come on. We need to go down this way. And hopefully, we can try out our Amora. Oh, yeah, we've got that stuff. Okay, let's go through here and see what's next. I'm guessing we're going to make our way to the next gym. Not 100% sure, but let's see. Is it a route or a town? It is a... I'm guessing a route. It didn't tell me. It actually didn't tell me. It is a route, though. There's a trainer here. I don't want to... No, I didn't want to talk to you. Oh, hey. Oh, no, it's you. Looks like you finally caught up with me. You took on Team Eclipse all by yourself. That was pretty brave of you. I've got to be honest, that whole time I was just waiting at the gym for Sebastian to get back so I could be the first person to get the Brimstone badge. I was honestly too scared to go and challenge Team Eclipse, but you've proven to me that we really are capable of doing great things with the help of our Pokemon. Please don't challenge me to a battle. Please. Please. You can show me how you train your Pokemon. Let's tackle the trainers on this route together. You take the lead. I've got tons of potions and stuff. If your Pokemon get hurt in battle, I'll heal them afterwards. Okay, so he's actually doing the opposite of battling us. He's going to follow us around like a like a bad stink, which is great. And this is actually a great chance to um, train Pokemon because they heal up your Pokemon every battle, which is awesome. And here is... Antonio, right, let's rock throw this bad boy. Here we go. Does Powder Snow do damage? I don't even know. Here we go. Rock throw, buddy. Super effective. This could be a great way to train up Antonio. Let's rock throw again. And hopefully... Oh, maybe not. With the attack drop, that might not happen. Come on. Yes, yeah, see, I halved it. Oh, Starly, why? Rock throw again, though. He's using Growl again. Please kill the Starly. Please. Or at least knock it out. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. How much experience do we get for that? Because that was a level 15. Not bad. Now, he should heal us up. Let's quickly check. Okay, maybe he didn't. He didn't. Can we talk to him? Why, why didn't you Why didn't you heal my Pokemon? Have you got something against me, huh? 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 Come on. Say it to my face. <laughs> so, I'm guessing he wants to double battle. Look at this guy. He's like a general with a... Oh, I thought he had a mustache. Oh, no. I thought he had a mustache, but he doesn't. You're a lot more... Um, you're a lot less impressive than I thought. Right. Oh, there are two of you. That sure is unexpected. I guess we'll have a double battle then. If you aren't familiar with double battles, yeah, we know. Two on two. Let's do this. Hey, here we go. Bird Keeper Armor. Now, we have a rock type in Antonio, so we should be okay here. Oh, my. They're level... Level 23? Level 23. Okay. Um... Wasn't expecting this, not gonna lie. And he's got a Vaporeon, that's quite cool, right? Let's rock throw the Pidgeotto. Antonio is so gonna die. We are way out of our depth here. Antonio is doing pretty good. He's got him down to half health in two attacks, but he's also, um, he's also halfway dead, which isn't good. <laughs> Please don't hit Antonio. Okay, just keep on hitting the Vaporeon. Antonio is a nice looking guy who doesn't want any... Oh, wait a second, was that me? Was that me? Yes, Antonio. 601 experience. Get those levels, man. Yes. Oh, no. It wasn't even him, but he's still taking down the Fletch. Into that. Oh, no. There's more Pokemon? Oh, I don't know if I can handle this. Even my, like, good Pokemon aren't going to be up to this standard. Oh, no. Okay, let's go to um, Fletch to try and get another knockout before Antonio dies. Yes, look at that. Antonio is a beast. Yeah, Fletchinder goes down. <laughs> and then Antonio gets 660 experience again. Two levels. 
three levels. Oh, Antonio, you beast. He wants to learn Icy Wind. Okay, let's um check out what this does. So, we have Powder Snow, which does 20, no, 40 damage. Icy Wind is better, but has five less accuracy. Let's get rid of Growl. Nobody uses Growl anymore. Sorry. Go on, Antonio. There we go. Nice one, buddy. Has he got... Okay, he's only got three Pokemon. That's good. I think Antonio could be doing okay. Let's paralyze the Staravia here. He's doing double team. That's so annoying. Yes, Antonio. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's give this old Icy Wind a go, shall we? And the good thing about Icy Wind, even though there's only one Pokemon there, it does hit two Pokemon at the same time, which is awesome. Here we go. Here we go. It missed because he's been using double team. And it's a less than 100 accuracy attack. And he seems to be leaving me alone, which is pretty awesome. Let's try one more Icy Wind, see if it hits. Yeah, it does. And it's super effective as well. This is good. This is exactly what we need. And they're still just targeting the Vaporeon, which is perfect. Come on. Come on, we could do this. I was scared at first, but... I'm glad we didn't challenge our rival to a battle because we would have lost so badly. Oh, his Vaporeon is so close to dying. I thought you said you had potions and stuff. It's not really going to plan right now, is it? Um, I'm going to use Rock Throw again. Come on. Come on. He's avoiding everything. Come on, Antonio. He avoided two attacks. Oh, and he's using double team again. Oh, this is, this is nasty. This is real nasty. He's avoiding everything. Ah! He's avoided six attacks in a row. That's what you get. You get paralyzed. Oh my goodness, six attacks in a row? This is craziness. Come on. He's using sand attack. Okay, you totally avoided sand attack. That's kind of hilarious. Yes. Ah, oh, this close. This close. Oh no. Antonio, no. Where are you going, buddy? Glenda's dragged out. Why do I have Glenda on here? Oh no. I've got double. I've got a Ghastly and a Horn drop in here. Um, uh, okay, so my other two Pokemon, Steven Quint, aren't too far behind. Let's oh, I just want Antonio to get the experience. Glenda's gonna get half now, which is really, really annoying. Please don't die. Please don't Yes! Yes, finally! Oh, that was too close. Antonio, another one. Another level. He's got four in a row in one single battle. Glenda rose to two levels. Two levels as well, which is really, really annoying because I'm not using Glenda at all. But hey, you know what? I can't complain. That was a pretty awesome battle. And see what I mean by the experience? That was a lot. And I got 960 Poke Dollars. Oh, what's, um, what, what's happening here? Um, yeah, look, he is going to heal our Pokemon. Okay, this is good. This is really good. You know what, guys? I am going to swiftly save it here because today has been way too eventful. And I don't want this video to get too long. So um, thank you so much for watching, guys. It has been incredible. We got two, technically three <laughs> a fossil Pokemon, but we've only ended with one, which is our really, really awesome Antonio the Amora. I like that. I like that a lot. And his typing is actually quite good. And I hope that the next gym is some kind of flying based gym. Because Antonio will be amazing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you see by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you again so much for watching. You are the best. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Okay, what is it? It's a revive and an armor fossil. Yeah, so you can find like revives and normal items too. Oh, this is cool. This is very, very cool. Look at this. We're getting so many. We've got a fossil. Oh, wait, this might be an old amber. Please let me get it. Yes, old amber. That's Aerodactyl, guys. That's actually Aerodactyl. Watch this. Green shard revive and an old amber. We just got an Aerodactyl. That's, that's amazing. Well, what we can turn into an Aerodactyl. This is so cool, and it's not even that expensive in terms of Robux. This is amazing. We also got an Everstone and an Iron Ball. So an Everstone stops a Pokemon evolving, which is kind of interesting. Not sure I'd use it, but it's kind of interesting. And we have managed to find so many more things on this expedition. Oh, that's another Firestone. Okay, that's good. And to be honest, I'm just waiting for my battery to run out because we've managed to get a lot of stuff. And we've got two fossils to revive, which I cannot wait to do. Click that. There we go. Oh. What's that? That is shiny. So shiny. And there's another Firestone in here. We've got so many. Look at this. <laughs> Firestone and a Waterstone. We've got a Waterstone as well. So we do have the opportunity to get a pink Vaporeon. I feel a poll coming on at the end of this video. Yes, one more. One more. Everstone and a green shard. Okay, and the battery has gone right. 
Let's revive some fossil Pokemon, shall we? I did not expect this whatsoever. This is amazing. And we can go back down two more times if we want to. Let me quickly check the stones that we got. We got three fire stones, a leaf stone, smooth rock, uh, extends the duration of sandstorm. There's our armor fossil. Let's see what um, these um, items do. So we've got Everstone. We know what that does. Rare bone can be sold for a high price to shops. Okay, that's good. Um, and the iron ball, um, it lowers speed and allows ground type moves to hit flying and levitating holders. That's kind of cool as well. Right, these are the two that we are talking about. Let's go and revive these. Will he, is he going to charge us? I have no idea. Which fossil should I revive? Let's go for the armor fossil first. I'm pretty sure that this is Kabuto. Actually, you know what? Uh, I don't know if he's only going to let us do one. So just in case, let's do Aerodactyl first. I'm going to go for Old Amber. Choose. So you want to try reviving the Old Amber? Yes, please. All right, let me see it. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to work? Oh, Jesus is cool. Go. Would you look at that? What has happened, buddy? Your Old Amber turned into an Aerodactyl. Would you like to give a nickname to it? Arnie, welcome to the team, buddy. I need to go and get him from the Pokemon Center. That's amazing. And he's going to let us do another one, too. So Kabutops is actually a really cool Pokemon as well. One of my favorites. I have a lot of favorite Pokemon. Um, right, let's revive him. And, ah, oh, this is so cool. I can't believe we found two fossils. Your armor fossil turned into a shield on. Of course. It's the, is it the cover fossil that is the Kabuto? Ah, a shield on. That's pretty cool, though. Let's call him um, Sheldon, the shield on. So he evolves into Bastiodon, which is actually a really, really cool Pokemon. Right, I am out of here, guys. Thank you so much for the um, underwater diving experience. That was phenomenal. Right, let's go and see our brand new fossil Pokemon. I can't believe this. This is crazy. But we also need to make the tough decision of who to get rid of in our party. So... Let's check these guys out. So here is our Shieldon called Sheldon. <laughs> and he's pretty cool. He's a level 10. That's awesome. And here is Aerodactyl. Oh, man. Let's see what moves he's got. Supersonic Bite, Scary Face, and Roar. Those are some terrible moves. But he's got a special attack boost and a special defense drop, which is kind of annoying. Right. Um, 